Now to the dueling demonstrations just outside of Columbia's campus tonight. All right, with pro-Israeli protesters making their voices heard while coming face-to-face -face with pro-Palestinian protesters. Fox 5's Kendall Green continues our live team coverage from Morningside Heights with more on tonight's pro-Israel demonstration. Kendall. Hey, good evening, Steve Natasha. Protesters made their way up Amsterdam on the east side of Columbus University with drums and signs shouting against the encampment inside of the university. They, loud, they shouted repeatedly, bring them home. Bring them home! Bring them home! Thursday, just before sunset, chaos erupted just outside of Columbia University's gates with droves of pro-Israel protesters chanting, bring them home. of this university. They wrap themselves in Israeli flags, chanting against what they call an injustice of Israeli hostages. I'm here to support Israel. Why are you here? I'm here to support my brothers and sisters and to make sure that we get the hostages home and to support the Jewish students here at Columbia. Palestine will be free! Palestine will be free! Counter-protesters stood in the few among the large crowd as spectators watched from the overpass. Protesters eventually surrounded the group, pinning them against the wall. Jewish neighbors, yes. let's march! They marched for what they considered the mistreatment of Jewish students, often calling for Columbia's president to resign, accusing her of being anti-Semitic. The fact that Jewish students are being harassed on their way to class is not okay. I have friends that come to this college from where I lived in Nassau County, and I can't believe the people are taking over the college. And I think that's going to hurt everyone. This exchange nearly turned for the worse. I love this country. I love this country. Well, go back to whatever country you come from. America. You're America. not from here. NYPD with zip ties at the ready struggled at times to keep the passionate demonstrators on both sides divided, threatening arrests for disorderly conduct charges repeatedly. Now, so far, police have cleared the area for tonight. It's unclear how many arrests they've been made, if any, at Columbia University. Kendall Green, Fox 5 News. Natasha. Kendall, thank you.